Hey everybody, what's up? This is a response video to Kurt 344's response to Andy Moosman's video. Uh, and Kurt's video is called Pioneers, Revolution, or Renaissance. And it was kind of bringing up the idea of what is this YouTube thing hap happening here? What are we doing? What's this community forming? Um, and is this a... Are we pioneers here in a way? You know, are we creating a revolution? Or is this a renaissance of sorts? And I kind of looked up the definitions of, of all these terms, and I just kind of want to talk about each one real quick, quickly. Pioneers. I think, I don't think we're pioneers in any way. I think that YouTube, if anything, is just a fleshed out version of, or just a higher level of, kind of like Yahoo Instant Messenger, or discussion board, or online chatting. Uh, especially, probably like discussion boards where I put an idea down you respond to me people go back and forth now the beauty of YouTube is for the most part on a discussion board you have to have something in common you know I'm on a Star Wars discussion board let's say or something about lost everybody has something in common and interest now granted a lot of our subscribers the people we subscribe to or who subscribe to us obviously have something in common with us otherwise they wouldn't be watching us but that's not necessarily the case you know I've got a lot of subscribers who aren't into comic books or the music I am but for one reason or another they like watching my take on it and vice versa there's there's a lot of people I subscribe to who have a very different outlook on things but there's something about them that I like to learn from them that I take away from them um, or that I just, that I can bring something of mine to theirs and vice versa. So I don't think we're pioneers. I think YouTube is just a higher level of technology to do the same thing. Um, now, revolution. I don't think this is a revolution either. Because what are we, wow, what are we revolting against? Um, if anything, I think it's evolution. Like I said, it's evolutionary in terms of communication. But I don't see the revolutionary side of it yet. I don't see us banding together and saying, damn it, I've had enough, throwing our tea off the harbor, you know, whatnot. I don't see, you know, I see us banding together against modern issues and people talking about, say, the war, politics, national health care, whatever. But at this point I don't see the revolutionary state of that I don't see there being a real power yet um, in this YouTube community now that's I gotta watch how I say that because as I'm looking at one of the videos here there's a big banner choose 08 I see all of the uh, you know politicians are getting involved on YouTube they're getting involved on MySpace uh, the musicians, the artists, they all know this is a way to communicate to people. So I don't, but I don't think this is going to be revolutionary in that way. Now, evolutionary, I agree a hundred percent. We're evolving um, with new ways to communicate. Uh, we're be we're able to communicate with each other via cyberspace to people we've never ever talked to before. And I think that's where the Renaissance part comes into it. My definition that I'm looking at here of renaissance is <clears throat> a revival or renewed interest in something. I think that something we're talking about is each other, is humanity. Never in a million years would I be communicating to 90% of the people that I communicate with on YouTube, which translates over to stick ham. Uh, a lot of times we'd have nothing on the surface in common. Or just logistically, when I chat with Beth, the Silver Scream Girl, she's in Hawaii. There'd be no reason to really communicate, but we somehow found each other. Same with Kurt, he's in LA. What does a guy from LA and a guy from Wisconsin have in common? You know, on the surface. Uh, 21st Century Cat, he's, he's a comedian from the UK. I'm a kid from Wisconsin. What do we have in common? On the surface. And this is breaking down these boundaries. I'm learning a lot about people from other countries, from other states, from other walks of life, from other religions, 
from other political sides of things. Um, and I'm open-minded enough to, to realize that my way, my being an American Democrat from Wisconsin, isn't the only way. And to me, that's maybe where this renaissance happens, where there's this exciting exchange of new ideas. And that's what happened with art history. You know, you had a lot of stuff going the same way, just boring stuff. Um, and also this renaissance happened, this explosion of creativity happened, and art was changed forever. I think that's what's happening on YouTube, because on a given day, I can watch somebody do a piece, a comedy piece. I can see somebody do, like Kurt said, a speed drawing. You can see artists on here, musicians. Um, there's people that I subscribe to who just play their guitar and play songs. There's people who vlog, just talk about their daily lives. There's people who uh, just go on these political rants. And they all, to me, are on the same level. They're all valid forms of communication. And it's, it's pretty amazing. But now, on the same level, I've been watching a few videos. Um, Country Comes to Town, he's somebody I just newly subscribed to been really enjoying his videos and he had a series of videos where he met a bunch of other vloggers and they kind of videotaped their exploits and they were in the mall and they were asking people do you know what YouTube is do you know who country comes to town is and they're all like um, no 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 I, I think we're very underground right now I think people know what YouTube is but the part of it that we're doing that you're watching is I don't know is that a quarter of YouTube the vloggers you know you look on the front page and it's still more about babies farting and the, the entertainers the big entertainers and the, the politicians now so I don't know where we fit into this you know and I was thinking the other day I have 220 some subscribers right now and to me that feels like a lot of people that's a huge huge number collectively but then I think that's like two people from every state in, in my country who watch me who subscribe to me across the world that is so minimal but yet we're growing in numbers you see some of these people with 13,000 subscribers um, even what just Allen has over a thousand subscribers right now the town where I live has a little over 2,000 people so you start thinking of it in those terms, and we are making leeway. I think it's going to be like vlogs, or blogs rather, where I know a lot of people I work with may know what a blog is and stumble upon it, but it's not the norm. None of them do it. And the same with these video blogs. Um, few people I work with who maybe even stumble across YouTube, they might know what it is or that people do it, but they don't get it. So it's going to be an underground thing, but I think it's going to be a renaissance of of communicating with each other and and back to the evolution side of things for a second um, at work we spend thousands of dollars on all these high-tech ways to communicate with each other none of them are as efficient as something like stickham yahoo I am even YouTube to, to just communicate with each other and I think all these these um, websites these new things that are out are very simple ways but very powerful ways that the, the mass media maybe is finally looking at embracing but not completely I think give this five years and I think YouTube will just be a way that I'll be able to communicate with say a friend in Arizona it'll be a way of sending video emails it'll be a way of you know communicating via the phone um, a couple of my friends I don't talk to on the phone anymore we just Skype with each other so the possibility for communication, for meeting new people, and, and look, we're all meeting each other this year. All these gatherings are happening. So it's, it's happening. Anyway, I'm running out of time. Thanks, Alan, for Food for Thought. I'm just kind of babbling today. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop me or Andy a response video or Kurt. And uh, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.